Hello everyone, how you doing? So, um, more part of my colleague was asking that I had a tutu in my degree and I am also a woman using veil, the Islamic veil, the Muslim veil. And she said, will it be suitable to cope and survive in Canada? Well, let's proceed to answer that. Well, um, as you can see, I am also an Ugandan. So, you will be able to cope out here in Canada because we have lots of people that are Muslims. And as you know that Canada, they are very welcoming. And they accept if you are a Muslim, Christian, whatever, even LGBTQ. Yeah, they are open to everybody here in Canada. So, um, we have lots of mosques, Muslim communities here. So, if you are using veil, it's okay. You can cope here in Canada. We have, we have an Ugandan in here. Yeah, that reminds me. I went to downtown Toronto. That was or Toronto. <laughs> I think that was last week, and I saw uh, a woman using the veil. You understand? She was never harassed. She was never disturbed. There was no issues, and she she boarded the train with me. You understand? And um, there was virtually nothing special about it, or nothing like they didn't really harass. Nobody even cared about what she wore. That was the beautiful I, I thing about it. They are much in that Toronto area. They are much. Yeah, you Indian understand Muslim, exactly. We have a lot of Indian, Indian. Indians, people from so, Pakistan, from Punjabi, yeah. people, people from a lot of places. So this place is much more. You understand circular, and they allow you to do or to yeah, practice yeah. any religion you want. So far, you don't actually disturb the next person. So definitely, even with your degree, even with your veil, you can cope, you can survive just like Rashida has been surviving ever since she landed.